Today I'm going to make healthy homemade chicken soup without using any bouillon cubes. The main ingredient of course is the chicken, so try to find a healthy chicken that hasn't been raised on any antibiotics. If your chicken came with giblets inside, take them out and discard them if you're not going to use them for anything else. I like to split the chicken in the middle so the chest is wide open and then I rinse it in cold water. Put the chicken in a 5 quart stock pot and fill with water to about 3 to 4 inches from the top. Make sure you leave some room for veggies and other ingredients. Now set it aside while you prepare the other ingredients. Today my daughter is helping to prepare all the ingredients. For this soup I'm going to use carrots, celery stick, celery root, Italian parsley and onion. Now the amount of vegetables you use is entirely up to you. I like to use a lot of veggies. Remember, carrots are sweet, so if you use a lot of carrots, your soup might turn out a little bit on the sweet side. Rinse all your vegetables before you start cutting them. Then slice your carrots into smaller pieces. How small? It's up to you. Next, slice your celery sticks into smaller pieces as well. I use the whole stick, including the leaves. Now split the celery root into quarters. Dice the parsley. I use Italian parsley, but curly parsley will work just as well. Now cut the onion into four wedges. I leave the peel on the onion as it gives the soup a nice golden color. Once the soup is done cooking, I'll remove the peel and discard it. Now set the pot with the chicken on the stove and turn the heat on to high. Now I add whole allspice, about 7 or 8 little balls. Allspice looks a lot like peppercorns, but it's not the same thing. I also add 4 or 5 bay leaves. Now add your celery root and onion wedges. In about 20 minutes or so, foam will start forming on top of the soup. You can scoop it up with a spoon and discard it. If you don't get rid of the foam, no big deal. It'll dissipate by itself while the soup is cooking and it won't change the taste of the soup. Once the soup starts boiling, reduce the heat to low and now you can add all the rest of the veggies.
Once all the veggies are in, cover the pot but not completely. Leave a little space. Let the soup cook for about 3 hours on low heat. I like to cook the soup on low heat for a long time. This way the soup will come out clear. If you boil it on high heat, the soup will come out murky. Once the soup is finished cooking, I remove the celery root and the onion peels and throw them away. Now remove the chicken. The chicken is very tender right now so it will probably start falling apart as soon as you start pulling it out. If some chunks of chicken stay in the soup, it's no big deal. I set the chicken on a separate plate and let it cool off before I put it in the container and store it in the fridge. If you noticed, I haven't used any salt or pepper during the cooking process. That's because I prefer to add the salt at the end of the cooking. When you add the salt earlier during cooking, some of that water will boil off and the salt will be concentrated in the soup, making it taste a little bit more salty. Plus, it'll leave an ugly white ring around the pot. As for the pepper, I like to add it when the soup is already in the bowl and ready to be eaten. This way I can put as much pepper or as little pepper as I like. Now that the chicken is cooled off, I put it in the container and store it in the fridge. Every time I pour a bowl of soup, I like to add some chicken to it. Now you're ready to enjoy some healthy homemade chicken soup. I also added some noodles to my soup which I made earlier today. If you'd like a recipe for easy homemade noodles, just click on the link at the end of this video. Now I add some fresh ground pepper. I sprinkle a little bit of fresh dill and just for fun I throw in a parsley leaf. Now I'm going to enjoy my soup. Thanks for watching.